Campbell River firefighters tackle a large stubborn blaze in one of the buildings at a local high school. We got a report about 11 o'clock uh, this evening about a fire at Cary High and uh, crews responded, uh, arrived on scene to a substantially working fire. They think the fire started in or near a kitchen then spread down a hallway and into the mezzanine area of the gymnasium. The issue is of course that the fire had gotten up into the roof space and had traveled uh, some distance down a couple of the hallways which made it a little bit more difficult and the fire has actually uh, continued to work uh, in some of the spaces above the sprinkler system. Mutual aid is called in from Oyster River and all the way from Courtney as well to tackle the spreading fire. At some point in this fire, uh, fire conditions have changed to the point where we actually had to pull all of our crews outside of the structure uh, for fear of their safety uh, until we got more control over the fire than once we did then we've uh, re-assumed uh, uh, some interior attack as well. It's definitely sad to see and I hope that they can get it under control as fast as possible. Past and current students expressed sadness watching the fire and say there's a lot of community pride here at a school that's over 50 years old. But we have a lot of events going on right now, especially with Christmas around the corner. So we have like angel tree and just donation bins that we're doing to help support certain people. And um, a lot of people will be really disappointed. Cary Secondary has um, a deep history in our community and long-standing connections for a lot of community members, so we're deeply saddened by the event. The fire closed the school Friday for 922 students and 90 staff. It's going to remain closed on Monday, November 25th, to allow students and staff time to obviously process this event, as well as to allow school and district leadership to be able to plan sort of next steps with regards to uh, continuity of education. Fire crews returned to the school late this morning when smoke and flames were seen flaring up again. It was contained and put out a second time. It's unclear what rooms have been damaged, but the gym, kitchen, cafeteria, band room and other classrooms are all in the area of the fire. The cause is still being investigated.